Good morning, everybody. My task today is to talk about uh, precision medicine in cardiovascular disease prevention. I'm very happy to do this. Uh, so uh, this is uh, our SPERMED uh, project, which uh, has been already presented uh, uh, by Hannes uh, concerning uh, breast cancer. And uh, my part is uh, uh, personalized prevention in, in cardiovascular uh, disease. This uh, clinical project has been uh, uh, ended and uh, we already are writing the, the paper about it and implementing uh, the results to Estonian uh, healthcare. As you see here on this slide, uh, our consortium is a very strong one uh, containing the both uh, most uh, uh, prominent universities in Estonia, University of Tartu and Tallinn University of Technology, also two biggest uh, leading hospitals in Estonia, uh, uh, Tartu University Hospital and uh, North Estonian Medical Center, and of course, uh, Estonian Biobank. Uh, so um, the previous, yes, um, in Estonia, cardiovascular mortality is uh, higher compared to the uh, mean of uh, Europe, as you know, but however, uh, the mortality has decreased uh, quite a lot, uh, more than 50% in the last uh, 25 years. But still, we have to do something more. And uh, on this slide, uh, you can see that 15% um, of 70-year-old uh, men experience myocardial infarction. And we have calculated um, 50% of male, males and 20% uh, of uh, women should have been received statin treatment, but uh, in reality, just 4% have received it. So um, this is a score system we are using currently in uh, Europe. And also it's, uh, you see on the slide, it's translated into Estonian. Estonian uh, GPs, Estonian cardiologists are using this score um, which is uh, very easy to use. Uh, you can see uh, here the, the current score and the perspective uh, if uh, we are able to uh, decrease uh, risk factors. And also the, 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 you can see here uh, which uh, risk factor is the most important in particular person. But the problem is that this score is not taking into account at all uh, uh, genetic um, uh, risk and uh, polygenic uh, risk score. And this is something uh, we, we have to implement much, much more because it's becoming more and more important. And uh, as you can see on this slide, based on the Estonian Biobank data, in those uh, males and also females with high uh, genetic risk score, the myocardial infarction rate and cardiovascular mortality is much higher com compared to other uh, people with non-high uh, polygenic risk score. So we have to do much more about this. And exactly uh, this was uh, the study, uh, personalized prevention study in cardiovascular uh, medicine uh, uh, in, in our clinical uh, project. And we were dealing with the highest uh, uh, genetic risk uh, quintile uh, uh, subjects of uh, uh, Biobank, middle-aged uh, subjects um, without cardiovascular disease, without diabetes, and uh, you can see the, the total number is, uh, of um, um, study population is a little bit more than 1,000. In intervention group, uh, 507, and in control group, uh, 511. Uh, we have uh, had uh, mm, around 70 uh, family physicians in our uh, clinical projects 
we have specially trained those uh, family physicians uh, to get more knowledge about cardiovascular uh, um, uh, risk, about um, treatment of uh, dyslipidemia, hypertension, and so on. And as you can see, the preventive strategies, uh, uh, aggressive intervention has been performed in those uh, intervention group uh, subjects. Lifestyle counseling, of course, uh, statin treatment if needed, blood pressure medication if needed, and other cardiovascular management. And uh, in 12 months, uh, we are now um, calculating ho how much the, the blood pressure has decreased, what about body weight, cholesterol level, LDL cholesterol especially, and also the main goal of our uh, randomized study. I, I, it's very important that the study is randomized because we need randomized study in order to uh, be um, among uh, recommend, official recommendations of the European Society of uh, Cardiology. Um, now the, the new uh, preventive guidelines will be um, announced in August this year. And I've been also uh, one of the reviewers of these guidelines, but still there is not much about the genetic risk in these new guidelines. However, our, our main goal was uh, to see whether this proactive uh, PRS-based prevention strategy will uh, decrease total cardiovascular risk in 12 months. So, and there, here is uh, age and sex dis distribution, which was almost uh, equal both for male and females uh, in uh, between uh, control group and intervention group. Uh, the, the, the age of the, the, the male uh, subjects was uh, 30 to 65 and females uh, 40 to 70 years. Here are study visits, uh, first visit, second in three months, third visit in 12 months, and all the study related uh, activities, including uh, cardiac compass, uh, risk estimation. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this later on, and also questionnaires about genetic feedback of uh, participating uh, uh, physicians and also their participants. Uh, so, which, which was very, very important, the visibility of uh, such approach in uh, everyday medicine, because these are GPs are uh, from the, all the Estonia, they are, they are not just uh, the top uh, GPs, but uh, the GPs in all the Estonian uh, districts. So, and uh, we were using the cardio compass um, uh, tool, which has been developed by the University of uh, Helsinki uh, colleagues. We have very good cooperation with them. And you see, uh, this is a uh, translated uh, 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 nice um, visual, uh, the, the tool which uh, uh, every participant can, can see, and also the GPs can see. And uh, here you can, uh, uh, can see this, um, uh, how much uh, the uh, polygenic risk is uh, higher compared to the mean uh, uh, risk of the population. And very nice visual is on the right side. Uh, here you can see the, uh, it's, it's even better here. Uh, the, pers the person participating in the, in the study and uh, in the future, everybody in Estonia and uh, in any other country in Europe and the world can see uh, the actual risk. Uh, and here is a risk uh, um, with a genetic, uh, together with the genetic factors, uh, meaning that a total risk, and here is a only traditional risk factor risk, which is much lower in this particular person. And this blue line shows uh, the average risk. And uh, this dotted line, uh, in the in the bottom, you you can you can uh, 
um, see is, is demonstrating what can be achieved in the particular uh, person. And this is very nice tool to play with and uh, to be more motivated in lifestyle uh, changes and also the um, medication uh, compliance. Preliminary is the results of the study. The, uh, as I told, they are just right now um, writing an article and, and I can't present the, the, the full uh, results. But anyway, uh, we can say that proactive prevention strategy of CVD prevention in subject with high PRS risk is feasible. This uh, 70 uh, uh, GPs have performed very well and they were very happy to participate in this project. Most of the indicators of cardiovascular risk show positive, positive dynamics. And uh, majority of family physician and study subjects have reported that knowing that genetic risk is improving lifestyle and medication compliance. We have also um, made a, a quite precise uh, cost benefit calculation exactly as it was done in the breast cancer uh, project. And we have seen that uh, the cost have increased by 14% compared to the uh, usual care. And this is uh, mainly because um, of the uh, risk calculation, because of the uh, PRS uh, measurement, and also the, uh, you, uh, the larger use of uh, um, uh, statins and also the uh, blood pressure lowering uh, medication. And in total, uh, the, the final number of the uh, cost uh, per life year saved was uh, you know, 14,600 euros, which, which is uh, um, uh, quite a reasonable uh, number. And the number of um, mm, predicted uh, myocardial mm, uh, infarction morbidity has decreased by 25% with this strategy. So this is a quite nice uh, calculation as well. Um, coming to the model of Estonian healthcare, we really would like to uh, implement this in Estonian healthcare and uh, many many participating uh, bodies in, in this project are uh, very positive about uh, possibilities to, to implement uh, this strategy in uh, practical healthcare. Um, of course, the main person, the main um, uh, um, doctor in Estonia and in the world dealing with cardiovascular prevention is a family physician. And we have now um, uh, established the strategy. If there is a moderate risk, the family physician is going to deal uh, more precisely with these uh, subjects. But if the risk is uh, high, uh, they uh, will be referred to the cardiologist. What we can do, we can do uh, uh, measurements of uh, arterial stiffness, pulse wave velocity, we can measure intima media thickness, we can do a CT scan of the coronary arteries, which is now very much appreciated method and also in the guidelines of prevention of the European Society of Cardiology. So this is a way how we can prevent cardiovascular mortality in our patients. And here is uh, how uh, we are practicing personalized CVD prevention in Estonia. It, there, we have quite nice uh, health information system as uh, it was already uh, discussed yesterday much. And I'm very happy sitting in, in front of my, my, my screen. I can see everything what has happened to the, the patient uh, before. And I can see also some genetic data now. I can see familiar hypercholesterolemia data. Uh, I have been uh, asked many times by, by journalists from Germany, from France, uh, especially uh, those countries, um, uh, is it really working? How, how, how can you, uh, um, is it safe? Uh, what about the patient security? 
but uh, I, 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 I can say that it's, it's uh, working rather nicely, but of course we would like to have polygenic risk score of cardiovascular uh, diseases uh, also uh, on this system. And uh, we are working on it and it will be in the near future. And this Estonian nationwide health information system, of course, what, what is the, the best, uh, the, the, the most important? Uh, drug drug interaction database, very important for the physician, and also the, um, the recipe database. I can see whether the patient really has purchased the uh, statin or antihypertensive drug or any other medication. So it's, it's quite a helpful um, uh, system. Many times my uh, 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 colleagues, cardiologists and, uh, and GPs, asking me what is uh, the practical benefit of um, a genetic risk score. I can um, tell that uh, it's uh, improving and it's increasing, the practical importance is increasing uh, um, every year. But uh, already today, we can say that in high-risk patients, uh, clinical benefit of statin treatment is much higher. And on the other hand, we can see whether a uh, particular person uh, could have more side effects from the statin treatment. And very recent publications are showing that this is exactly the same with uh, novel um, biological treatment of uh, high LDL cholesterol, uh, alirocumab, evolocumab, these drugs are already becoming uh, uh, more, more and more used also in Estonia and many other European countries, see even more. And um, uh, uh, polygenic risk score is playing bigger and bigger role in individualizing the treatment, in personalizing the treatment. So really the personalized uh, medicine in, in uh, car uh, cardiovascular uh, diseases is becoming more and more important. Thank you so much.